Hi, this is Galit Gofrob and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about foods that will improve your mood. Most of us already know and feel how food affects our mood and studies do support this. In this video I will talk about how food affects our mood and more importantly, which foods positively influence our mood. I will also advise on some supplements that can help uplift your spirit in times of need. Firstly, it's important to note that how often we consume food during the daylight hours will also affect our mood. If we eat often enough and don't skip meals, then a stable blood sugar level will help us maintain a positive spirit as well as more self-control with much more ease. I suggest aiming to eat regularly and snack regularly at similar times every single day. This ensures that the body always has enough sustenance to keep it going under optimal com conditions, leaving you in a good and positive mood. Naturally, the food we consume is also critical, and it has been shown that unhealthy diets high in processed foods and simple sugars consumed regularly will cause depression. When it comes down to sugar, studies have shown how it is in close connection to stress. When we're under stress, our bodies crave any quick fuel that will help us support it during the stressful period. And one of the fastest foods is indeed simple sugars and foods that contain these simple sugars. And this is why we crave these sugar-rich foods when we are under a lot of pressure. However, providing our body with simple sugars will only meet our immediate needs, but at the expense of our long-term health. Furthermore, sugar in, in itself doesn't help reduce stress, but actually in the long term, it adds stress by causing inflammation in specific tissues of the body. And it is much better to go and exercise or to meditate as a method to reduce stress. Now, furthermore, healthy foods are the best recipe for keeping yourself in a good mood as optimal health and well-being leads us to feel better overall and also about ourselves. So which foods positively influence our mood? Well, certain nutrients and foods have specific effects on our moods. Complex carbohydrates, for example, increase absorption of the amino acid tryptophan, which is connected to mental health. Tryptophan is converted into serotonin, the feel-good and calming neurotransmitter, which reduces symptoms of depression and contributes to feelings of well-being and happiness. Since tryptophan is the least abundant amino acid available, when we consume a protein-rich meal rich in amino acids, this will hinder tryptophan from entering the brain. And tryptophan will cross the blood-brain barrier last of all the amino acids. But when we eat a carbohydrate-rich meal that is also rich in fiber with a little bit of protein, then tryptophan will readily cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain. And this is because when carbohydrate-rich foods are consumed, the body releases insulin and the insulin diverts the other amino acids into the muscles but leaves tryptophan untouched, allowing tryptophan to enter the brain and promote its soothing effect on our brain and on our body. Now, the good news is that new research shows that serotonin helps also curb appetite, which is already something that will put you in a better mood if you lose weight. Now, the fiber that I recommended to eat in the meal is essential as it not only helps maintain a steady blood sugar level for more extended periods of time, but also fiber encourages a healthy microbiome. Since over 90% of the serotonin is in the body is produced inside the gut, a healthy microbiome optimizes the production of serotonin, improving mood and overall well-being. Now, high fiber foods include whole grains, potatoes, yes, potatoes, and sweet potatoes, beans, peas, Brussels sprouts, and other dark colored vegetables, as well as oats. And the fruits, uh, especially high in fiber, include pears and apples with peel, as well as mangoes, bananas, guayavas, and berries, yes. You do want to reduce alcohol intake because alcohol actually decreases the amount of tryptophan in the body by roughly 25%, driving a similar decline in serotonin. Now, there are also foods that have higher levels of the amino acid tryptophan in them, and you definitely want to include these foods regularly in your diet. These foods include spirulina, chia seeds, sesame seeds, watermelon seeds, flax seeds, uh, practically all the seeds, as well as cashews, pistachios, almonds, potatoes, and soya beans. 
Now, vitamins, specific vitamins, also have a positive effect on your mood. Vitamin D, for example, can help relieve symptoms of mood disorders. And you can go into my blog or watch the video that I made on vitamin D and its importance and how you can incorporate it into your, um, into your uh, body the most easily while you're looking at the UVB index in your area. So read this article of mine on vitamin D or watch the video. Now, vitamin B12 can also help reduce the risk for depression. And so you definitely want to supplement that if you're on a, a vegan diet. Now, the other mood enhancing supplements include ginkgo biloba, which supports circulation in the brain and ha has also potent antioxidant activity. Phosphatidyl serine, which helps maintain neuronal membrane fluidity and protects against stress. But Giola assists the body in accommodating stress and St. John's wort, the herb, also supports a healthy nervous system and a positive balanced mood state. So to conclude, a healthy regular eating at specific daily times is not only crucial for optimal health but is great for your mood. If you strive to use as many foods and nutrients that I've mentioned in this video, you can effectively hack your attitude and start feeling much, much better much more often. So I hope you like this content. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, uh, subscribe to my channel if you like the content. There's a notification button that you can press it and receive the information that I put out weekly. And also please visit my website where you'll get lots of information, free information and uh, health tips as well as nutrition tips and how to lose weight. And you also have many, many programs that are available for you to help you reach your goals. Thank you very much for joining. I wish you all the best.